Hey guys, what's going on? It's Darian here at Hashtag DairyDo. Today I'm bringing you some gameplay of from a phone app called Call of Duty World at War Zombies. And this is there's actually two versions of this game. There's Black Ops Zombies and there's World at War Zombies. Uh, this is the World at War one. And we're playing on the uh, original map, Verrucked. And this was a game that I played uh, recently. As I actually played this game today. And I was playing with two other players. I don't know who they were. I just found them with the matchmaking on the game. And I actually really enjoy this game. Uh, I don't play it that often, but I do play it whenever, you know, it's an appropriate situation. Like a, uh, a 3D phone game would be. Like, you don't just sit there when you're talking to people and pull out your phone and start playing a game. That's just fucking retarded. But... You know, my friend fell asleep and I had nothing else to do, and I whipped out the phone and started playing this. Uh, this game is actually a lot of fun. It can be quite... You can get into it just as much as you would get into any other Zombies game. But, uh, there's no audio, simply because something happened to the file and the audio was overwritten or something. But, uh, I'd say that, you know, this is pretty decent quality, you know, despite the lack of the audio. But, you know, this game is actually... You know, I think it's like five dollars. As I just watched my teammate get completely destroyed right there. I think it's like four or five dollars, and it's definitely worth it if you're a fan of the zombies in Call of Duty. Uh, it only takes a little bit of getting used to if you set your controls to dual sticks. Here, you can find the right sensitivity for you, and pretty much it feels just like any other shooter. You know, it's a little bit slower if you're used to playing on a higher sensitivity, but you. Know, it's it, it has a learning curve, but aside from the learning curve, it's pretty much zombies. And as long as you're playing on a device that's not old as hell, like I'm playing here on my iPhone 4S, uh, I'm pretty sure it would run fine on an iPhone 4. A 3GS, it ran all right. Uh, I have a 3GS right here, and I downloaded it on there. See a little stutter right there whenever I got a text message from Twitter. Uh, any text messages or anything that come in while you're playing the game will make it stutter pretty badly. So if you're playing single player, they they recommend that you switch it to uh, airplane mode for the best single player experience. But that's just if it's like a rainy day or something, and this is all you have to do. I would I would recommend spending some time with the game, getting used to the controls, so that it doesn't feel so clumsy whenever you actually want to play a decent game of zombies. For example you know, your friend falls asleep and you have nothing else to do and you want to play zombies. Uh, right here we make it to uh, round 12. Uh, we don't get that far in this game. I think we get up to round 14. And then we just, we all wind up going down. Uh, this game, it is zombies. At its core, it's zombies just on a mobile platform. Treyarch did a really good job, or whoever ported this over, they did a great job keeping the core zombie experience. As you see, I was trying to aim with the sticks there, and it doesn't work out very well for me. But it works well at close range. You see here, I can just spray all these guys down with this MG42, thanks to the aim assist. And see a little lag there. The game does lag on the occasion. You know, it's not going to be as smooth as, say, a PC server, or even on, like, an Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. There's going to be some lag, because, you know, you're playing on a mobile device. This game is pretty old, too. Uh, I haven't played enough of the Black Ops version of the game to tell you if it's better or, for, or it's worse, because I can never find a game on the Black Ops version, but I'll probably get some gameplay of that. And uh, I'm also going to be doing a review of this of this app and some of the other games. I'm going to start trying to play some more mobile games, help you guys know which ones are great for you know a hardcore player or somebody who enjoys a challenge in their game, such as zombies right here this is actually a lot of fun it really when you get into it it really does feel like you're playing it on a console after you get into it but that doesn't there's no point in the gameplay where you're completely unaware of its quirks and its flaws such as like the slower gameplay or your inability to sprint and it immerses you in the classic zombies experience You'll get carried away shooting zombies and advancing in the rounds, and it'll become satisfying every time you get, like, a ray gun or something. You know, when you buy the game, you get all four maps. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. I mean, that's how it was when I bought it, but I remember them doing some sort of DLC thing way back when. I 
don't really know all that much about it. Look at me, this guy just fucking sponging bullets out of nowhere. Uh, yeah, uh, the gameplay is going to be coming to a close here shortly. Uh, um, I really don't have any much more to say about this other than it's zombies. It's, it is what it is. You get what you pay for. Uh, I'll see you guys in the review.